Pillarbury. Today I have an HVAC video for all of you. This particular video is going to be the first startup of my 2007 Heil Quiet Comfort Series 2.5 ton air condenser unit for the 2023 cooling season. And yes, it's finally that time of year again. It's getting warm and we need to cool our residential houses down to a lower temperature. And that is what this air condenser does. So let's go ahead and kick things off by looking at the name tag. So here's our name tag, of course, which is Heil. And it's heating, cooling products, and it's the Quiet Comfort series. So there you go with that. And then of course we have our condenser coils on the side of the unit. And that's to uh, basically keep the coils at a reasonable temperature. And of course the fan is used to assist the coils in the process while the heat is being exhausted from the house and up into the air. So there's the other side right here and here's the other side right here. And as you can see, it's pretty dirty considering that there's a lot of dirt and stuff from a lot of construction work around here. So probably later this year, I may actually clean it with a garden hose so that the heat is distributed uh, properly. So yeah, there you go. And of course we have our liquid and suction line right here, which is to provide the cool inside of the home. And of course, the liquid line travels to the evaporator coils inside the home. And then the suction line travels from the evaporator coils in the furnace inside the home to the compressor. And it basically repeats the process. So here is our tag right here. And as you can see, I've read the model number of this unit and apparently it is 33,000 BTU. I don't know if you can see that because of how um, you know, worn out the ink is, but it is a 33,000 BTU AC unit, which is basically a two and a half ton. So close enough. So there you go with that. This unit operates on 240 volts via this fuse box right here. And I'm obviously gonna be very careful when handling this because it pro this provides such high voltage that you can easily kill yourself if you don't know how to handle high voltage and stuff. So there's the fuse box, and this is also to prevent any damage to the unit in case of a fault. So there you go, let me go ahead and put this back. And then of course, as we move on to the unit, we have our compressor, which is inside of here. And I do not know what brand it is, but I believe it might be a Copeland scroll or a reciprocating compressor. So there's the inside of it, and as you see, there's a sound blanket on it filled with fiberglass insulation. And that is actually to reduce the amount of noise it makes when it's in an operation. So that's why that sound blanket is on top of it. And that's why it's called the Comfort, uh, Quiet Comfort Series. So that's why there's a blanket on there. And right here we have our nameplate right here, which as you can see, completely worn out. Nothing is on there. It used to say text and all, but due to the rain and stuff over time, it dissolved the text and the stickers. So that's why it's just blank. And then of course, if I just pull this off, it's just basically the top of the condenser fan motor, which nothing too fancy. It's made by GE, which is a pretty good company for a motor, condenser fan motor. And as you can see, it is held on by some uh, nuts. So there you go. And of course, Speaking of that, here's the motor itself, which drives the condenser fan. So I don't know if you can see the specs, but this fan here runs at 825 RPM and it operates on 240 volts and it is one eighth horsepower, which is pretty strong. And then of course on the far right is our wiring diagram of how to wire this up. So there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on if I can here. It takes a little bit of time because, you know, let me just, sorry about this long delay here, guys, but there we go. Got it back on nice and easily. And of course, here is our condenser fan. And this, of course, 
removes all of the excessive heat from the house and puts it into the condenser coils, which makes it into a hot liquid. And then it slowly goes through the evaporator coils, which cools the house. So the fan blades are made by Revcore, but it's a different design as compared to Goodman units. It's the same fan blade length as the Goodman GSX-14 three-ton unit I made a week ago, which is 22 inches in length, but the pitch is different. This is actually 20 degrees, which is pretty, still pretty steep. It'll still be able to push enough air and stuff through. And nothing really fancy about this fan blade design except for the rivets, which is holding the blade down, of course. So yeah, nothing too fancy about this fan blade design. So, anywho, as you see, um, this fan blade here has a one uh, half inch uh, intake hub, and that of course involves the motor too, so it fits properly, and it is um, made of galvanized metal, and there are three blades obviously, right here. And this fan blade is pretty old considering that this is actually the fan blade's original to the unit. So 2007 is my best guess. But um, yeah, nothing really too fancy. So as you see right there, you can see the uh, hub right there. It's an intake. And uh, yep. And of course, there's a barcode on there. So... Yep, there you go. So I don't think I don't have anything else in mind. Well, except for the fact that this fan blade guard design is very unique. It's like it's like a gas powered grill, if I, you know, were to remember that. Because I've seen a lot of uh grills that have this design. And I've never I haven't seen many fan blade guards for AC units with this design. It's usually basically like, you know, it's basically for like an industrial fan. But then again, cool design overall. And I'm pretty sure this has a pretty pretty epic sounding compressor considering that it has a sound blanket on it. And the fan motor sounds pretty epic too because I've heard a lot of GE condenser fan motors sounding like this. So anyway, I believe I don't have anything else in mind. So let's go ahead and fire this unit up for the first time this season. All right, so there it is. My 2007 Heil Quiet Comfort Series 2.5 ton AC unit turning on for the very first time this year. So, of course, the fan blades are in motion. And as you see the little white sticker rotating around, I don't know if you can see it. And sorry for the excessive uh, wind coming into the mic because I'm directly over the fan. Yeah, so there it is. You see it? A little white sticker right there. So there it is. And there's the motor. It's not doing too much vibration, which is really nice. And it's really quiet. So... Yeah, there you go, guys. This is the first startup of my 2007 Heil AC unit turning on. So if you enjoyed the commentary and the video itself, please be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.